hello welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to be learning how to cut a wrap top it's a very simple top but i also know as a beginner you might find it a bit difficult to cut your wrap top when you don't know the basis so in this tutorial i'm going to explain step by step on how you can go about cutting your wrap top as a beginner so to get all the details you make sure you stay tuned to the end all right but before we go right into the video if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please hit on the subscribe button and most importantly turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified anytime i drop new videos so that you don't miss out on anything going on on this channel all right so without further ado let's go right into the video so this horizontal line you are seeing here is going to serve as our starting point so i'll just go ahead and extend the line this way so i'll take out my tape from that um starting point i'll go down and mark my bust point so i'll mark 10 inches this is my bust point I'll repeat the same thing in order to get a straight line. So after marking my bust point, I'll go down and mark the length of my top. So I'll just go ahead and extend the line. This pattern is for the back, so we are drafting the back first, alright? This is for the back, we are drafting the back um, pattern first before we draft the front. So the paper is on fold, alright? So the next thing I will do is to go ahead and impute my shoulder measurement. My shoulder is 15 divided by 2 is 7.5. I'll mark 7.5 here so on that point I'll come down by one inch from my shoulder slope then I'll go ahead and mark my neck so I'm using 3.5 for my neck uh, width and then I will use 1.5 for my neck depth all right I'll just go ahead and connect the points then I'll connect that point my shoulder slope to my neck line this way so the next thing I will, I will do is to go ahead and mark my show um, my armhole depth how to mark your how to get your armhole measurement you divide your bust by six then you add 1.5 inches to your measurements you divide your bust by six then you add 1.5 inches to the measurement that is how to get your armhole depth So I'll just place my tape to make sure I have 7.5 here as well. So I'll just go ahead and rule a straight line to meet that point. And then extend the line like so so this is our chest line so the next thing I'm going to do is to Place my tape right here and then mark my midpoint. 
remember I marked 7.5 for my ammo depth so on that point I will come in by half an inch and then I will impute my bust measurement on the chest line my bust divided by 4 I will go ahead and mark it on the chest line and then connect the points this way I just remember that we are drafting the back pattern not the front pattern so we were not supposed to come in by half an inch here so i'll just correct that from that midpoint i'll just connect a curve to meet that point we have on the chest line this way this is the back uh, pattern so we were not supposed to go in by half an inch that should be for the front okay i'm home so i'll just cancel this sorry so this is our a armhole curve so the next thing I'm going to do right here is to go ahead and impute my body measurement my balls divided by 4 I'll just go ahead and mark it and then I'll add 1 inch for seaming allowance Then I'll go to the waist and divide my waist by four as well, and then I'll mark it. But I'm adding one inch, extra one inch for that. Then I'll add another one inch for seaming allowance. So I added two inches on the waist, one inch for that, and then one inch for seaming allowance. So I'll add the one inch here on the chest line as well. So I'll just connect the points together. Sorry, I didn't place my camera away, so it's not really showing everything I'm doing. I'm very sorry. So the next thing I'm going to do is to divide my nipple to nipple by 2. My nipple to nipple is, is 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. I'll just mark it here on the waistline and then take it all the way up to the chest line with a straight line we are trying to get our dots so on the chest line I will go up by one inch again and then extend the line to meet the point and then remember we added one inch for our dot on the waistline we are taking our dot on the waistline so I will mark half inch on both sides. I'll mark one inch here and one inch here. And connect it from up to meet that point on the waist. Just look at what I'm doing. I'll do the same thing here so this is our dots so this is basically it like I said before it's very very simple to cut I'll just go ahead and cut out a pattern So this is the back of our pattern looking so beautiful right very very easy and um, we cut this back on fold you know it's, it's a wrap top so we didn't put anything like zip allowance all right it's on fold we cut it on fold so the next thing I've gone ahead to rule out the necessary lines all right 
this is for the front pattern i'll go ahead and mark my shoulder measurements like the way we did in the front mark 7.5 here and then on that point i'll come down by one inch for my shoulder slope and then i'll mark my neck width i'm using 3.5 as well for the neck width then i'll connect the shoulder slope to the neck line like so so this is our shoulder slope so i'll come down to mark my um uh, armhole depths remember you, you divide your bust by six then you add 1.5 inches mine is 7.5 so i'll just mark the 7.5 here I also place my tape to make sure I have 7.5 here as well to get a straight line. Okay, so this is my 7.5. I'll just connect the line this way, and then I'll extend the the line. This is our chest line, all right. So this is our chest line. This is our chest line. This is a, this is our bust line and the length. So the next thing I will do, I will just um, carry my tape and then get my midpoint here, and then divide. I will come in by one inch half an inch rather sorry half an inch here then i will divide my bust measurements my bust divided by four which is 8.5 i'll mark it right here on the armhole and then i'll connect the point this way you see how i'm doing for my front armhole right we went in by half an inch on our midpoint and we are connecting it to the armhole this way so this is our front armhole, all right? Then I'll go ahead and impute my body measurement. My balls divided by four. It's just 8.5 here already. Then I'll add one inch for seaming allowance. And then I'll come to the waist. I'll divide my waist by six, by four, sorry divided by 46.5 i'll mark it right here then one inch for seaming allowance we are not adding one extra inch for that because we are not taking our that on the front all right so i'll just connect the points Just extend my armhole this way. So after getting our body measurement, I'm going to take my tape and measure whatever I have on the waist. I'll place my tape to see what I have. I'll measure whatever I have on the waist. And then still on that waistline, I will mark that which I have on the waist. I will Take it all the way like this and then mark it. So I will extend the waistline to meet that point. Like so. So on that line, I will go up by 2.5. You can choose to go up by 2 inches or 3 inches. But I went up by 2.5. Then I'll connect the points this way. Then I'll connect a straight line from our neck 
line all the way to meet that uh, line you can use your french curve to have that curve uh, curvy look okay it's because my arm uh, my french curve is small that is why i'm using my straight ruler so you can use your french curve right then i'll connect it all the way to meet the Please just watch what I'm doing, okay? You can use your chest line as your guide, as okay? You can use your chest line. You connect from your neck to meet your chest line this way, then take it all the way to meet the points you have done, okay? I don't even know what I'm saying again this way so i'll take my tape and measure whatever i have there remember i went out up by 2.5 inches so this is what i'm using for my rope width you know you are cutting rope for your wraps up right so the width of your rope should be 2.5 if you go up by 2.5 and if if you go up by two inches you use two inches for your rope width and then you decide how long you want your rope to be you can use 30 inches you can use 25 you can use 10 you decide how long you want it all right so this is the front pattern of our wrap top very very simple very very simple to cut so this is basically it it's very simple all right this is the back and this is the front and this front is not on fold all right so you are cutting these times too okay this front pattern is not on fold so you are cutting it times too so we've come to the end of our tutorial for today hope Please, before you go, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please make me happy by hitting on the subscribe button, alright? And see you in my next video. I love you. Thank you for staying tuned. Bye.